All right, we want to let everyone out there know this is not a paid advertisement review. In our line of work, we rebuild engines, transmissions, we really get into our work, and we are dependent on our tools. So in this video, I'm going to review the Vanpo half-inch drive digital torque wrench. Alright guys, I'm not going to sit here and tell you the good qualities of a torque wrench. Other videos is out there for that. This video specifically show you how to use this torque wrench. Yes, it's a good torque wrench, but only if you use it according in accordance with the directions. Alright, first of all, before you go out there and want to be some torque god, god like I am, you got you, you to gotta set it up. You got to put the batteries in it or it won't work. Now, your tools want to come with this little coin right here. It's not a coin. You can't use it for money, monetary purposes. It's blank on each side. What this is for is on the head, on the end of the ratchet, you're going to see this little opening right here. Now pay close attention because there's going to be a triangle right here, a triangle right here, and an arrow over here. Now this is what you call the lock position. What you want to do is take that tool, stick it into the slot right there, turn it counterclockwise, and while you're turning it clock counterclockwise to line them with that arrow this is going to start to pop out come out just like that take your two double a batteries which comes with it now the reason why i got these batteries out is because it's a good idea to not keep the batteries in any digital equipment put the batteries in with the positive side that's the positive side the part that sticks out the negative side is the flat side the positive side goes in first so you want to stick both batteries in now to put that back, put this cap little back, you're going to see this little tab right here sticking out. What you want to do is, first of all, that triangle is going to line up with that arrow. But you want to make sure you get that little tab in first. Push it in. Take your coin, turn it clockwise till it lines up with the other diamond and you are good to go. Now let's go over and uh, show you how to use the torque wrench. All right guys, before we begin, turn this wrench over to the other side. I took out two Allen key screws right here. No, don't take that apart or your ratchet. I'm just wanna show you something. Now, if I back this handle up, if you look inside there, you can see a set of wires, some wires. Yeah. Now, the reason why I'm showing you that is because this is a precaution right here. Do not use the head of this ratchet for a hammer or don't drop it, don't stick it in water or anything, or you will damage. This right here is what actually, this mechanism up here, this is actually what torques it. So you got to be very careful with the head of uh, this ratchet. All right, let me put these screws back in here, and then we'll move on. All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure your ratchet is set down on a flat surface because you need to calibrate it. And, all, and it's, it's not a bad, not a hard process. That's all you want to do is set it down. Hit the C, hold the C, hit the C down, and that's going to cut the unit on. Once I cut the unit on, there's going to be a couple of flashes in there. That's his calibrating. Calibration is done. Now, this ratchet does uh, Newton meters. You see the NM in there. Go to the U, hit the U. It's going to go to another selection. Inch pounds, foot pounds, and kilograms. Now, what's really cool about this ratchet it has two features right now i got it set on peak there is peak and there is track or the manual like to call it trace let me show you what both of them mean and what i'm gonna do here let's set this let's set this up to foot pounds now right now i got it set at 23.34 i can use the arrows to go up or down i want to set this up to about 20 25 now what's really cool about this is, you know, a lot of digital torque wrenches, there's a rumor error, 2%, 3%. This, is how the, this has a low percentage of like 2%. Now, so knowing that if, if it's got an error, what I like about this, you can set this in 27 point whatever. You don't have to be just regular 27 or 28 like other torque ratchets do. So I want to set this at about... 25 something so i know when i talk it it will be about 25 now let's go over the what peak and track means 
All right, now I'm going to use this Allen key as an example of what's going on or the difference between peak and track. Now, peak. Peak is this is the this is the ratchet right here. Now, as I'm tightening up, the numbers on the ratchet is going to climb. Now, what if I have to stop before I reach 25.5, let's just say 30, whatever, 25. Before I reach there, I have to go back because I don't have enough room. So the ratchet is going to count. Then it's going to get up to about 15. I got to stop. When I go back, the ratchet is going to stay at 15. When I go all the way back here, it's going to stay at 15. And it's gonna, when I go back forward, it's gonna, when it hits 15 and I keep going, then it's going to continue to count. Track is I go the same thing. Now it's just it really is just a matter of preference. Track is if I going up, the ratchet's gonna count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get up to fifteen. Now I get to fifteen, I run out of room, I need to go back. So when I go back, the ratchet is gonna stop and go back to zero. So it's gonna go back to zero. Then as I keep going forward, now it's gonna count up again. That's the only difference. Let's let's do that right now. Now I got this set at twenty-five. 0.59. Remember that. I'm set at peak. Now, being that I'm at peak, what's going to happen? I'm going to go, and when I stop and go back, it's going to it's going to freeze where I left off at. So, now, up here, before I begin, up here is your right and left hand thread. You turn it to, you just hold down the socket. You can click it left or right to tighten it up. So, we got our bolt set in here. Now, this is another important thing, guys, and I also contacted the company because I needed some verification on this. Just like <coughs> mostly all digital ratchets, digital torque wrenches out there, they tell you, do not grab it by the handle. Grab it by here, midway. So that's where you're going to um, put the force at. So I contacted them. I asked, you know, why is that? We, uh, we noticed that this bar goes all the way down here, so it's a metal bar. So why is it? They said the reason why, because if you, grab, if you talk by the handle, it will. Not that it's a possibility, it will throw off your torque. So a lot of companies don't tell you that. I'm glad they was very upfront, honest with me about that. So I dig it. So when I'm doing, or if I'm doing like cylinder heads or something, I got to make sure that that torque is right. So what I would do, in my case, now being that I'm doing this for a lot of few years, I don't recommend you doing this. Um, I will adjust my number to like 25.80 to make sure I adjust it. Don't do that. Just... Follow the instructions and grab it from here. Or if you grab it from here, grab it from underneath. Don't like this because you don't want to do that, okay? Don't want to press the buttons. So we're going to go into here. We're going to our torque wrench. I don't have to... Look at that. See, I waited too long and the thing shut off. If it shuts off like that, just hit the seal. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because I want to make sure this thing calibrates again, right? Set it down. It, it, it take it uh, leaves off right where you left off at, so we there now. So let's go up here and do this. All right, now watch what happens to the numbers as I start talking. Now I'm at about 18. Now say if I ran out of room, so I back up. It freezes at the 18. Now when I go back to tighten it up again. It's going to start counting once it reaches 18.34. Now, once it reaches the 25, these, there's LEDs over here. The LEDs are going to be green. They're going to start flashing. The closer you get to it, they're going to flash more. When it hits red, that means you reached it. So this thing was really tight. So, now... I actually did it at 26.56. <coughs> so now, how about trace? Now what you want to do is track. track. See, in the, in the manual they say trace, and up here there's this track. So whichever one. Let's see. Now let's see. First of all, let's set that right there. Now we're going to hold down the U button. When you hold it down, you're going to hit Noid. It's going to see Noid up there. Peak is up on the top. You want to hit one of the arrows to go back, go to track. Or hit it again, go back to peak. So we're on track. Hit, I'm hitting you again. Now I'm on track at 25.59. All right, what I want to do is let's bring that down a little bit because I'm just in this 20.13. Now watch what happens now. 
we're gonna put the ratchet up there. Now, what? Watch what happens when I start talking. Goes and start counting. Now what happened? I run out of space and I want to let it go. It goes back all the way to the beginning. You see that? So now I'm going again. And it's going to start counting up again. So it's pretty much with preference. Get to the point. There it is. Let you know. Stop. You're done. So I, I like it. I like it especially because of the not only is it giving me the sound, the beep, but also the LED light. LED lights can be very important on this. Now, what we're gonna do, let me set get this out of the way and set cut this off. What I want to do is go over with you a couple of safety things, important things you have to know to keep your ratchet in good working condition.